Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can create stylized expressions and wrinkles with face tools. When working with a stylized character like this, you may want to utilize the Toon Shader settings in Character Creator and send them to ZBrush, so let's start with that. In Character Creator, you'll find the Toon Shader option in the Visual Settings panel. When we activate it, the initial results don't look good because this character is currently using the Digital Human Shader, which we need to switch with the PBR Shader. Simply select all of the sub-meshes of the character that use the Digital Human Shader and set the shader type to PBR under Texture Settings. The Toon Shader only utilizes a single light source, in this case our directional light. Therefore, we'll want to rotate that light to a position that looks good. In this case, it creates a shadow on our backdrop which we can hide via the Scene Manager. In the project settings, you can also choose to set a background color. Back in the Toon Shader tab, we can also use the interpolation option to smooth out the jagged light borders and adjust the edge width and intensity to the preferred level. It's important here to adjust the intensity balance between the light and shadows as well, as this greatly affects the end result. You can also edit the material brightness directly via the base color or diffuse map. It's also recommended when using the Toon Shader to minimize the intensity of the normal map to ensure a smoother, more Toon style appearance. Once you've tweaked everything to your desired levels, it's then time to send the character over to ZBrush via Face Tools. Once the model is loaded up in ZBrush, we can custom paint the diffuse map. To get started, click on Diffuse to display the map, set it to flat color, and then MRGB at the top, and Polypaint from Texture to convert the diffuse map to Polypaint. From there, turn off the diffuse map and go ahead and begin the character painting. Here we're just adding a few stylized touches to our character's skin. Once you're finished, click on Update to Character Creator to update the polypaint result. In the Update options, we only need to select the Polypaint to Diffuse option and remember to set our 4K texture to ensure the resolution is not lost. Once the export is complete, you can see a good before and after here with all of the additional tweaks we made. Okay, so that's how you can quickly refine the stylized appearance of your character, starting with the Tune Shader. Let's take a look at editing expressions and wrinkles next. Each CC3 Plus character contains a default expression system that causes wrinkles to appear in certain areas of the face when different expressions are used. However, the default system is intended for more realistic characters, and when using Toon Shader mode with a stylized character, the initial results will not be ideal as you can see here. So let's go ahead and use the Face Tool plugin to do some editing. I'll use the mouth smile expression here to demonstrate. When we switch expressions and open the layer, you can see that the expressions layer is set to recording mode. I'll use apply mask to focus on the area of the mesh affected by the smile expression. In recording mode, you can switch to a low subdivision level when changing the shape if you only need to modify the expression. Here I'm using the lowest subdivision level to enhance the shape of our mouth smile to start. If you want to modify the expression wrinkles and normals, you'll want to switch over to a high subdivision level and turn on Colorize to display the paint and wrinkles. Here I'm just using Polypaint to paint the smile wrinkles in the expression layer. Again, we don't want it too detailed here, just basic enough to give us a simplified, stylized smile wrinkle around the mouth. You'll also want to ensure that you smooth out any detailed mesh edits that represented the previous wrinkle system. Once finished, go ahead and update to CC once again. This time, we want to make sure we have Expression Morph selected as we edited that at subdivision level 1, and also Wrinkle Diffuse since we only did the poly paint on the appearance and not any mesh editing. 4K again for the wrinkle resolution, and we only need to select the mouth smile expression. Now back in Character Creator, we can use the Edit Facial tool to give our character a smile and check the editing results. You can see the simple smile lines appear on the diffuse map as our wrinkles. 
You can also see the updated diffuse map in the Wrinkles tab under Wrinkle Set 3, which covers the orange highlighted areas of the face on the thumbnail. A quick before and after shows us the difference between the default smile wrinkle and the newly stylized set that we just created by deepening the smile via sculpting and giving us a bolder yet more focused wrinkle result via polypaint. Here's another quick example of a custom wrinkle paint job on the brows with the brow drop expression, even adding additional emphasis markings on the forehead, which is still within the mask area. Again, export only needs the wrinkles, diffuse, and the brows drop expression to be selected. With that done, you can get a pretty cool toon style emphasis on our angry expression. Here's one final example, this time doing something a little different with the neck tighten expression template. In this case, we're modifying the mesh at subdivision level one to get the base expression geometry correct, and then adding a slight bit of poly paint emphasis on the neck rolls. You can see that this has a strong result and can be very complimentary to add passion and intensity to angry or disappointed expressions. Using a combination of the techniques shown here can really help to add a bold and energetic touch to your character's expressive performance. We hope you enjoy using face tools and stay tuned for more tutorials in the future.